Welcome everyone to Elder Scrolls Online. This is going to be a video about Reaper's Crate Unboxing. And let's go ahead and jump into it guys. <laughs> so I'm going to go into an area that's a little bit less crowded. That way I don't get too uh, taken away by everything that's going on around me. Although there were, there were some things that I was trying to figure out. So there isn't that many people in here. It should be safe. And there's plenty of light and lighting. So this is one of the costumes that I got for the Reaper's Crate unboxing. Uh, this isn't going to be me doing the actual unboxing because I already did it um, and I did try to record it, but it didn't. Uh, the video didn't come out right, so I had to. I have to redo it, which means I can't do the the uh, video part where I was unboxing it. But I can show you what I did get as part of the rewards. So if we go into appearance and we go into hats, I'm going to go to show unlocked. This was one of the crate rewards, the casual plague doctor. Blights, flus, and plagues may be devil tamriel, but even the most dedicated plague doctor needs a little casual downtime now and then in order to keep those epidemics in check. Put down that mortar on pestle and head down to the tavern for some real ale. Available in the Reaper's Harvest Crown crate. So if I change it to this one, you can see what it looks like there. And in my opinion, I believe that this uh, hat, um, I tend to call it a mask, but it, it's defined as a hat. Um, I think it goes better with something that I already had, that I already do have. Let me go down the costume. But right now I do have the, elf, the Wood Elf Vanguard. Scouts wearing this Wood Elf outfit blend in with the forest becoming almost invisible. Purchased in the Crown Store, available in the Reaper's Harvest Crown Crate. But if you set the austere Warden outfit active, you can see that this uh, goes pretty well with that mask, in my opinion. Because uh, this Warden uh, costume outfit has a little, almost the, the black, oh, it's almost as dark and the the leather on the face of the mask is not really a black it's almost kind of like a almost like a uh, weird looking brown or dark brown which also is almost the same color on the austere warden outfit so i think these two go together pretty well and if i just wanted to wear the the Wood Elf Vanguard, I would just remove the mask. Because it does come with its own hood. And like for this character, since he is a, a an elf, it does look pretty good on this character, I must admit. So, what else? So, these were the two main things. I mean, I got some potions. I don't know if I even still have them. Maybe I can still trade them in. I don't know for gems. Let me see. Yeah, because I was just watching a video that you can. Anything that you don't want, you can turn into gems, but I don't know if. Uh, if I can do that because I escaped out of the interface when I was doing the crates so I don't know if I could actually go back in and try to get gem gems for them but I can try to go back in there and see if that'll work and I 
think I did get a non-combat pet, I'm not sure. I did. Awesome. So this is the Colovian Badger, which I did also see on YouTube. Someone else got this one too. Colovian Badger, Col and it looks like the nickname is Grumps. And the description says, though badgers mainly eat bur burrowing rodents, farmers hate them because they'll take chickens, quama scribs, and bantam guar if they get the chance. Cranky and irritable, they make terrible pets, <laughs> which makes them a favorite among the undaunted. <laughs> That's funny because, I mean... All my characters are going to be in the Undaunted Guild, so, but, I mean, I would have to roleplay a character that was like a grumpy, so, I don't know. Purchased in the Crown Store, available in the Reaper's Harvest Crown Crate. And someone in my guild was also, um, I wish I could go back and show you that, guys, but I can't, but, yeah, they also do have the... Sweet Roll from Skyrim in Elder Scrolls Online. Now, from what I've seen, they, I don't know which one is part of the Reaper's Crate, but they link two types of Sweet Rolls, one that can be crafted and uh, put uh, furnished in your home as a decoration, and they also have a recipe where you can make food of the Sweet Roll, and it does have stats, so... So I'm going to go ahead and bring out the Colovian Badger. So this is the, the Badger right here. I'm going to see if I can duck down because he is, he is a little bit small and a little bit hard to see. Maybe I can get him to come up here on this table. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay, so I might be able to... see him. There he is. Oh, I guess he's... Oh, I guess they must have fixed that bug where they jump on the tables. Yeah, because he won't go on the table. So I guess we'll have to crouch, crouch down to get uh, a little bit of a look at him. Oh, he sure does move around a lot. Oh, he did jump up on something. <laughs> But now I can't see him again. All right, you see. It does sound like sound like he's making a noise though. There he is. It's <laughs> it's making a noise. That's funny. Okay, I see him now, but he's yeah. It's hard to get down to to where, but that's pretty much him right there. So I was really hoping to get a mount, one of the, the the Halloween mounts, but I didn't get lucky enough to get one of those. But at the very least, I did get a non-combat pet. I was hoping that they would uh, have a rare pet that would do heals, like the one uh, that they had a long time ago, that they no longer no, no, no longer have available. But at least I did get one pet. <coughs> Um, the Guar actually looks quite nice in my opinion. I wouldn't have mind having the, the Guar. So, whoa. Yeah, so we got the, we got this guy, and I also got the, the other thing that, which is okay by me, which is the, the hat, and we got the costume Wood Elf Vanguard, which isn't too bad for free for the low low price of free. Now I'm gonna see if I can go into the Crown Store and see what we can do. Welcome back, good friend. It is always a pleasure to talk nonsense with someone and to have his nonsense respected. There are many spectacular rewards that a crate could contain. You can view this excellent selection by previewing a crate. 
So, like for me, I pressed escape when I got done, and I probably should have stayed in this inter interface part to get the gems extracted out of the items that I want, didn't want, because Farewell, my good friend. the items that I didn't really want were mostly potions. Let me see. And they're on a different character, so I can't really show you. But yeah, I did get quite a, uh, a good amount of potions that I could have traded in for gems to at least get another uh, pet, but it would have took a lot of gems uh, to get something. But I hope you guys uh, found this uh, video entertaining uh, regarding, like, if you know, if you're playing ESO and you didn't get um, a chance to see this pet or the Wood Elf Vanguard uniform or the <clears throat> the hat that I have. Thank you for watching the video, guys. And if they do have another event like this, another free crate event, I will be sure to um, do a video on it so you guys can see what items I got out of those crates. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next ESO video. Take care.